I don't know about the rest of you, but I am tired. Hi, my name is Sydney. Welcome back to Hell. And although this video does not have a sponsor, I do want to let you guys know that if you tune into the live stream or you know about the live stream that I do on Thursdays with Jeremy from The Quartering, that now has a name, Community Notes, and it also has its own channel. So rather than catching that live stream on Jeremy's channel, you can now go over to the Community Notes YouTube channel and give it a watch if you so desire. We'll be streaming exclusively from there from here on in. Give it a look if you want, subscribe if you want, but it's good to have you guys along and it makes my heart happy. So I figured it was good for us to have a heart to heart because it's been a little while, you know, all things considered, my heart shriveled up and died. So maybe this is more of like a rib cage to rib cage. I don't know, don't make it weird. So maybe over the last eight or nine months, I have wanted to step back completely from the political world, delete all of my social media, delete my channel and just be done. Just be totally done. Go be a person that lives in the woods, lives in the forest and collects berries, I don't know. And this feeling has come back again and again for different reasons and different forms. And rather than actually feeding into it and following through with that feeling, I've just sort of taken a step back and you guys have obviously noticed because you tell me about it. Uh, I've just been making a lot less content and uh, I do get your messages asking me if I'm okay and all that type of stuff. And yes, I am now feeling a lot better, but as some of you know, as I kind of mildly talked about a little bit, I was for a period there having an adventure in depression. I was what the kids might call a negative Nancy. Ever since I started doing this, I have loved making content. I love researching and I love writing and I love being able to put ideas together and then present them to you. And then I love reading your feedback. I love reading the insightful comments that you leave me or the thoughts that you give me and, and emails that you send. I love reading that I can make you laugh. Uh, and you know, <laughs> actually this is, I don't think you guys realize, but when you tell me that I make you feel less crazy, that actually makes me feel less crazy. So it's sort of like a repetitive loop of everybody feeling less crazy <laughs> when we all engage with each other. But you know, somewhere along the way, I just stopped enjoying it. And there's a couple reasons for that. One of them is that 2022 was just like not my year. And both professionally and personally, a number of things happened and were happening that um, were very negative and that had a tremendously negative impact on me. And like I already mentioned, that sort of took me down a road where I was feeling very unhappy and I ended up sort of getting stuck <laughs> in the depression sludge. 2022 exposed me to things that never in my adult life had I experienced. And that sort of led to this illusion shattering moment where many of the thoughts, beliefs, ideas, perceptions that I had about particular things were kind of like ripped out from under me. And I just didn't really know how to handle that because, you know, I don't know if you guys have ever been through this, but if you have all these ideas that you, that you kind of find out are not 100% accurate, you're like, oh, what do I do with this? Like, <laughs> what do I do with this now? Having the illusion shattered plus life getting really challenging because of the things that were going on, I just, you know, I just ended up sliding into the land of depression. I went on an adventure in depression and that was really, really crippling because I have only really ever experienced depression, like serious depression, maybe twice in my life and this was one of those times and I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to see anybody. I didn't want to make content and I was forcing myself to make content and that didn't feel good because like I said, I've always loved it. I've always been so enthusiastic about it. And this was really the first time maybe ever that I just didn't want to, I didn't, I didn't have anything to say. I didn't know how to articulate any of my thoughts. And so I just kind of stayed away. With all of this, there was a huge part of me that wanted to articulate all of this to you guys because I wanted to keep you abreast of why I wasn't posting and why I kind of really wasn't around and why uh, some of the things that I had to say publicly had kind of changed a little bit. And I did really want to do that, but then there was another part of me that just didn't want to come across as whiny. And, you know, it's kind of funny articulating all of this because I guess another part of that was I just, I didn't want to disappoint anybody. I didn't want to, you know, 
force myself to do and say things and make content and do all this type of stuff and create stuff that was like half baked that you guys would be like, Sydney, what is this? <laughs> Why are you putting this out into the world? This is, this is just nonsense. And on top of that, my confidence was just shot. <laughs> it was shot for, again, a couple reasons. Um, and I just didn't know how to get out of my own way to just stop being like this and to regain my confidence and confidence in what I do and all that type of stuff. Because again, I'm a normal person. I just, you know, I self-flagellate over things that are out of my control or just, you know, I look back and think, what could I have done differently or what could I have done here or there or whatever. And and so this was this was that, this was exactly that. And eventually the depression and the sadness and the self flagellation just turned into anger. And anger is a feeling that I am quite familiar with. And it's it's always been, I guess, like a central part of what motivates me to do things. And I did get that initial boost when I did get really angry. I got this boost to make more content and start participating a lot more, but eventually that anger just stayed. And I think more than anything, anger is really destructive when it is the primary feeling that you feel all the time. And you guys obviously picked up on this because I got a lot of emails and <laughs> messages asking if I was okay. And the truth was that I wasn't, I was not okay. And I was trying to pour from an empty cup. I was trying to navigate all these things that were so new to me and that were just so painful and sad. And I kind of got to a point where I was just like sick of myself. I was just sick of being in this just awful headspace all the time and just having a, you know, a, a super short fuse in my personal life, like getting really cross about things and just always having this anger just sitting there all the time. I got sick of it. And I was like, I can't be like this anymore. Like this is, this is, people can't live like this. This is so unhealthy. And I kind of reached the stage going into 2023 where I said to myself, Sid, we're not doing this. Like we're not, this is not life. We're not going to live like this. I don't want to live like this. There has to come a point where you move on and you, you don't have to be okay. You don't have to be okay with, with some of the things that went on in 2022 but you have to move on from them and you have to stop being so angry all the time because it's not helping you. This is not a helpful feeling. This is not making you better in any way. And honestly, like I got to give props to Jeremy because Jeremy from The Quartering, because he uh, was really supportive and has always been really supportive of me even through all of that. And obviously you guys don't see a lot of what goes on, you know, behind the scenes, like between him and me, for example, you just see us having flame wars on Twitter with each other. Um, but he was somebody who was like, okay, kid, like, let's, you know, it's time. And um, even, you know, really close people in my personal life were saying the same thing, like, hey, enough. <laughs> and so, yeah, I, going into 2023, I, I pulled my head out of my butt and I said, okay, I'm done feeling this way and made a concerted effort to just stop being miserable all the time and to stop being angry all the time. One of the interesting things to come out of me making that decision for myself is that I realized the reason that I wanna quit the space and delete everything and go away is not because I don't love making content and I don't love entertaining you guys and educating and researching and being an advocate for whatever issue I'm really passionate about. It's that I don't actually want to be associated uh, or close to some people and things that exist in my industry and in the political world in general. But I don't think the answer to that is to just, you know, pack up shop and be done. Because what does that, what does that solve? It just takes me out of the equation, takes any ideas that I might have out of the equation, and it just makes everything a lot smaller. So that all said, I'm not quitting the internet. I know I started off on that note and I'm sorry for freaking any of you out. <laughs> I'm not quitting. I really want to expand my horizons and I want to make content as well as my deep dives because I love making the deep dives. I love researching them. And I know some of them are really depressing, but I do think the information that I am presenting is important. So I will always make them. But outside of that, I want to make more content, but content that I enjoy making because I am a person who wants to be bulletproof. You know, I want to be perfect. I want everything to be so good that you walk away from a piece of Sydney 
video content and you're like, wow, I learned something or wow, like that considered all sides or you know, whatever the case is. But because I'm like that and because I do want everything to be rock solid and perfect all the time, uh, and having that be a reason why I don't make content because I don't want to disappoint you guys and I don't want to let anybody down. I just realized it's probably just like not a helpful, not a helpful position to have. I, I don't think I'll ever stop being obsessive about perfection with my own content, but I really want to branch out because I love making cultural videos, for example. Like I love talking about video games and about television shows and all this type of stuff because it's, it's actually a break from all the really depressing stuff that I talk about usually. And you know, I, I think that a lot of people are actually quite burnt out. I think a lot of people are so burnt out with the political climate, with how just sad and depressing everything is all the time. And I don't wanna to contribute to that. I mean, I'll contribute a little bit. <laughs> I'll contribute a little bit with my deep dives and with some of these other topics that I cover, because like I said, I think they really need to be covered because they really matter. But besides that, I guess what I'm trying to say here in this very long-winded sad video is I am excited and looking forward to doing more. And if I want to be impactful and I want to be able to educate and just make you guys laugh, man, I love making you guys laugh, then yeah, I need to do more and I wanna do more. Part of why I created my new gaming channel, Sydney Mash's Buttons, is basically what I'm describing here. There's content that I wanna make about gaming um, and playing games that obviously just really doesn't belong on this channel, but I wanna do that stuff because I like that stuff, I enjoy that stuff, and so uh, if you guys weren't aware, I do have a new gaming channel. <laughs> it's called Sydney Mash's Buttons. There are two videos there now, one's about The Last of Us, uh, show and game, and the other one is about Dead Space, me playing Dead Space, uh, apologies in advance for all the swearing. It's my biggest irrational fear, it was crippling. <laughs> Cripplingly scary! Uh, so if you wanna go check that out, I encourage you to do so. Um, a side note to that, I will say I am forever enthused and excited about how much you guys enjoyed the Dead Space uh, video game because I was like, yo, there's no way people are gonna wanna watch me just like lose my mind for 15 minutes. <laughs> this is not good, uh, but you guys seem to like it. So that's really, really, really cool. The cool thing about that as well is I'm excited to make those videos. They're fun, I like them, I enjoy them. And when I see you guys enjoying them, that makes me wanna make more of them. And I want that again for this channel. As much as I love reading your comments here and you're always so supportive and so kind to me and you know, you guys are just, you're, you're honestly the best community a person could possibly ask for. I want to give back and I want to do more for you. I've said this now 5,000 times, so I'm going to start repeating myself, but going forward, I am going to start branching out. And you know, hey, some of those things you might not be interested in, you know, some of this new content, you're probably going to be like, eh, it's all right. I'm, I don't want to watch that video as you probably do now anyway. But the next one, you know, it would be more in line with the things that you're used to. But if I'm going to be a better content creator and a better person in the political, cultural, social space, I need to branch out. I need to stop putting weird expectations on myself that you guys aren't even putting on me. And I need to do these things because I just, I just do. So to recap, I was a big sad sack in 2022 and it was a really challenging year for me and it maybe took me to the lowest point in my life, but I am back on the horse. I want to be back on this horse and I want to make awesome content about all sorts of things that you guys will love and enjoy and learn from or not learn from, I don't know. Uh, I, that's basically where I'm at. So go and check out my gaming channel, City Mashes Buttons, if you so desire. Go and check out Community Notes, the live stream that I do on Thursdays, if you so desire, obviously no pressure. and. I just wanna say at the end of all of this that I really appreciate all of you and I appreciate all of you sticking around through all my ups and downs as a human being because God knows that, like I said, 2022 <laughs> was not my year. And um, I don't think you guys realize like how much of an impact you have on me as a human, as a content creator, as a person, when you leave me nice comments, when you express concern, all those things make such a huge difference and I, I just, I'm just really thankful. So huh, on that note, I've now expressed enough feelings to last me a lifetime. I'm very uncomfortable with that. So uh, I'm going to close out this video by saying, looking forward to 
all the things to come this year and I hope you guys will be along for the ride and continue be along to be along for this hell gondola ride that we're all on together because society is Looney Tunes. Um, expect more content from me. It's not all going to be deep dives anymore. I'm going to try to find a way of doing new and fun and interesting things. Um, so let's do it. I'm, I'm excited. So that is all my beautiful cherub creatures. I, uh, I'm looking forward to everything. Obviously, as you guys well know, leave me your suggestions for videos. Uh, if you have any ideas, I'm very open to them. I try to make the ones that I can. Um, and obviously I will see you guys in the next video.